Hey guys, Garage Maxed out here. Today I'm gonna to be installing a new uh, trailer jack onto this trailer. This one has stopped functioning. The cylinder, the cylinder is no longer connected. Uh, I bought this Reese Tow Power one and we're gonna go ahead and install it and give it a shot. I'll do a quick video review on it. Uh, before I begin, if you guys like the stuff that I put out, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you get notifications on my new videos. Uh, and without further ado, we'll go ahead and start installing this. I'm gonna start with some PB Blaster as these bolts are pretty rusty. But let's go ahead and zoom in so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we'll go ahead and let that set and then I'll try taking these bolts off. All right, so as you guys see here, I broke off the bolts trying to get this, this old jack out. Uh, I, I got pretty pretty angry at it and, and left it yesterday, so I'm coming back to it today. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill these out. The kit actually does not come with new bolts, so uh, I'm gonna look at this, I'm gonna see how these drill out, and likely what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some grade five uh, nuts and bolts from, from Home Depot to install this thing, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drill these out. Okay, so I uh, finally have the cylinder in here and it took a little bit more persuasion than I thought because I broke off a drill bit in, uh, in the hole here and I had to, I had to drill it out. Uh, this kit does not come with the bolts needed to actually affix this cylinder here. Uh, so I had to run to Home Depot and I got some, uh, got some nice bolts to get this installed. And there's two other pieces after you get that cylinder in there with those three bolts. Uh, obviously you've got the handle and then you've got the foot. So we'll go ahead and install these real quick. And then we're going to finally try this thing out and see, see how it does. All right. So she's just about, almost not tall enough actually for the truck. And surprisingly this doesn't have holes in it uh, to extend the leg to allow you to not have to crank it the whole way. Some of them have that. Uh, but it works and the action is really smooth. Okay guys, so I just installed this thing and I think, you know, if you came across this video, you're probably looking to buy either a, a jack, either this exact one or one like it. And I, I think I can boil it down into three different things. Cost, ease of installation, and ease of use. And to start with the first one, I got this for $27 on Amazon. You really can't beat that. I mean, there are some cheaper ones on there, no name uh, brand. Uh, I, I've used Reese stuff for a really long time. Uh, I've got a lot of confidence in the brand and, and I think this thing is gonna serve me well, but, but for cost, you can't get better than $27. Uh, it's, a manual, uh, it's, a, it's a manual one and in this bracket you can expect 20 to 60 bucks for something like this, but 27 bucks definitely hits, hits the mark on cost. Second is ease of installation and I, I think you know, outside of, uh, of my specific trailer, you know, breaking off a drill bit and stuff like that, uh, installation can't really be easier. There is one thing that I really would have liked to have seen in the installation pack. This did not come with bolts. Um, most trailer, like either somebody is gonna be replacing something like this, uh, an old rusty bolt, or they're gonna be making a homemade trailer. That's why they're gonna be buying this. So I, I, I think it was, 
maybe a bit too much on the cost cutting side that Reese decided not to include bolts uh, in this in this installation kit. Uh, really would have liked to see that, but uh, realistically, 20 cents each at Home Depot really didn't cost me that much. Just a trip out of the way uh, to to pick these things up. Lastly, function. Obviously, the most important thing in something like this, uh, the the. The jack goes up and down really smoothly. I mean, as you'd expect from like a new jack, it doesn't, you don't have to put your back into it, which is great. For reference, this is a single axle trailer that's got a washer, a dryer, a bunch of car parts in it. It's pretty loaded down so that it, it raises it with ease. I think the rating on it is probably pretty accurate um, and, and works well. The, the one thing that surprised me, and that's why I've got a tape measure in my hand, is it started getting stiffer really, really high up. And actually it just stopped right there. And if you measure it, essentially what I've got is, is 19 inches of lift um, from, from, where, from, from the ground at the trailer part. However, where they've measured it, which is accurate, is 22 inches. So what I did when I was trying to find one of these is I went out to the truck and I said, okay, I think I'm gonna need about this, this amount of lift. Uh, and I, I thought that this one would do it with ease. Uh, in actuality, it only just barely lifts it above uh, the, the Forerunner's tow ball here. So I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in that. I mean, I get where they're getting the 22 inch measurement. Essentially 22 inches is right here at the plate. And you can see it's, it's exactly right there. So, so that makes sense. I mean, it's not false advertising or anything, but as, you're, as you are kind of measuring out what you need, I think that's one consideration that I would have. A few features that I would have liked to see on this jack, obviously can't hold it against it because it didn't advertise these features, but I would have liked some sort of hex head or something on top uh, some sort of attachment that would have let me use like a drill or something uh, rather than, than using this handle. I've seen a couple others that have that and I think that's a really cool feature. Additionally, a lot of these jacks have a quick drop down foot uh, which makes it so that you don't have to stand here and, and jack the whole thing. So not only does it not have like a, a quick jack feature uh, on the foot, it doesn't have one on the armature either. Uh, so you're going to be standing here cranking this thing for a while, uh, which is actually a downgrade from the one that, that came on this trailer. This is a Hallmark trailer. It's a pretty nice trailer. Um, so I, I think, you know, as, as you're looking for, for trailer jacks, would I buy this one again? I would. I would just be aware that you are going to have to supply your own bolts. Additionally, it's not going to be the fastest jack to go up and down. I don't have any concerns about it holding the weight. And the fit and finish is really good. Like I, I haven't seen anything that tells me, hey, maybe this thing was slapped together. Like it, it feels like a really good piece of equipment. Um, I, I think I would buy it again for, for the $27. Uh, definitely don't have any concerns at the price point. So uh, if you guys are shopping for a trailer jack, I hope this little mini review is helpful for someone. Um, and leave me a comment below. Please like and subscribe, ring the bell for my videos. And thanks everybody for watching.